And on the morning of December 4, it really hit us. A, a tragedy, a tragedy for us. It's so strong, we dropped on the floor uh, to protect ourselves. Uh, anywhere as you look around, you can't see anything that is growing. Everything was lost. Our uh, farms, our livelihood, everything. So this is the room of grade, grade 2, section 1. Before the typhoon, this was already used by the uh, evacuees from Bay Bay and from San Antonio. And these are the people from Bay Bay. Until now, they did not go and go back to their barangays because they have no uh, shelter. Talaga. So we were full, all devastated. And what we just need is a uh, healthy... The ICRC and the Philippine Red Cross are working together to help uh, the people affected by typhoon. Already we've distributed to thousands of people with the uh, relief items and uh, tarpaulins in order for them to at least uh, start to get their life a little bit better now. And in many places, the water system has been damaged. That's why the Red Cross is now providing drinking water like purifying it and transporting it to strategic places. So the health facilities are also damaged by the typhoon. That's why the Red Cross also starts to repair um, damaged rural health units facilities. And at the same time, uh, the Red Cross is providing medicines, medical care. I've been working for two weeks now in the field, but I feel like the spirit is still high to, to make a difference because for me, I still have so much work to do and uh, seeing people smile when you visit them despite the situation that they are in right now, you can see that people are, 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 are hopeful and very resilient, but in their eyes, they, you can see that they really need help, they really need help.